I, I think that native bees are a gateway insects to the insect world. Native bees are out there quietly doing their thing of holding our ecosystems together. People just don't notice them. The smallest bees are the Uriglossine bees, tiny little bees that I like to call fairy bees, as small as 1.8 millimetres long and very common in eucalypt forests. Here in Australia there's over 2,000 native bee species and they're diverse and they're amazing. While European honeybees are this essential part of our agricultural systems in the country, they also can have negative impacts on our native bee species through their interactions in the wild. There's also this infant industry growing around one group of native bees, the stingless bees. A lot like European honeybees, we keep them in boxes, we provide pollination services, we sell honey and we produce colonies. Some of our largest native bee species in Australia, the green carpenter bees, these big, metallic, beautiful bees, have actually become extinct in Victoria and most of South Australia due to habitat loss and also modified fire regimes. Green carpenter bees make their nests by chewing holes into dead branches in trees or into grass tree flowering stalks. These nesting resources that these carpenter bees need are no longer available like they were, and that's led to the extinction of these bees in those places. So a few big things that we can do to protect native bee species in Australia. Firstly, is to stop the loss of habitat because with that we lose bees. Secondly, we need to restore habitat that's been lost. And another big benefit to native bees is bringing back cultural burning practices. Cultural burning by traditional owners who are intimately familiar with their country and when to burn to benefit biodiversity. And it helps in preventing these larger, more intense bushfires. Obviously after a fire, as the ecosystem starts to regenerate, one thing's really important and that's pollinators. So we need bees surviving in these ecosystems to help it all come back afterwards.